Hey guys, it's Trish. This is going to be your horoscope for Tuesday, September 10th and Wednesday, September 11th. Now, if you guys didn't know, Wednesday is, uh, I guess apparently I didn't remember, it, it's Patriot's Day. You guys know exactly what 9-11 is. It was, you know, the devastating events that happened on September 11th, 2001, and it's no surprise that 9-11 means emergency okay so let me just start out with Tuesday Tuesday is there's no major transit um, it's actually very very pleasant and extra pleasant so we have the moon sextiling with Jupiter okay so it's optimistic it's friendly you're able to um, have good judgment when it comes to business and you might enjoy taking a road trip or running errands, uh, following your literary pursuits, like watching documentaries, maybe even writing one or reading, um, reading books, like maybe, I don't know, driving to the beach or to the park and go sit under a tree to go read something. Okay, we still have the moon in Aquarius, so yeah, definitely going to visit some friends and just go hang out somewhere. Maybe you're going to run into some people, a group of people uh, sitting, lying down on the grass reading, um, something like that. Groups, uh, social life, society, hopes, wishes, and friends. So yeah, you could be, you know, like, eh, I'm going to get in the car and I'm going to drive. Um, and be like, God, you know, I wish I'd run into somebody. And then, bam, there's like three or four somebody's doing exactly what you were thinking about doing. <laughs> now, the full moon is going to be coming up in a couple of days. So I want you guys to be very careful of what you wish for and make sure that your intentions are pure and clear. Okay, so numbers for Tuesday are 10 and 22. There's a culmination. There's an ending to something. You're moving forward. Um in a peaceful kind of way you're managing to find some peace today Ooh, big noise that truck <laughs> okay and for Wednesday 9 11 we have three 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 okay so we've got three six and nine and I think I've mentioned before that we have this creation code that's going on um, throughout the month because it is a nine month in a universal 21 month which equals three so any days that that come by that are that equal up to six then then we're gonna have a three six nine creation code okay so Mar uh, Mars Wednesday we have 11 and 23 in addition to uh, we have three six nine and we have two threes two sixes and one nine so 11 is like the manifestation portal it's about your goals being on the same page in, in terms of your goals number 23 is about confidence confidence in your boundaries confidence in yourself and you know with the 11 it's confidence in your goals uh being very clear in exactly what you want to do and we also have we've got mars mars and virgo squaring jupiter and sagittarius at 15 degrees okay so 15 is a midpoint it's uh where you make changes in yourself so it's like you're making peace with okay I've got to do this or I want to do this or I'm not going to do this you know bottom line this is what's happening and we're changing up how we express ourselves in terms of our goals and it is Virgo season okay so Virgo is very oriented and with Mars and Virgo it's systemized a systemized approach um, com uh, I was gonna say compental uh, comp Apparently, I can't say what I was going to say. Compartmentalizing, okay, breaking things down um, and attacking your chores and your obligations in a systematic, ordered kind of way, which, you know, Virgos loves. And the thing about it is there's, it is, it's business, <laughs> okay? So you may have had to make some hard choices and your bottom line for that may have had to be, I'm sorry, it's just business, okay? And, and I'm gonna even go even further and say, don't apologize for doing your work, right? <laughs> Do not apologize for doing your own work. And the thing is, um, you wanna be careful about the details, don't, uh, 
semantics. Don't be so uh, beholden to details because that's where you could get caught up. Too many details. Virgo don't really like. Virgo doesn't really like to deal with a lot of details of, but they are about fine details and cracks and faults. Okay, so if something isn't perfect. Don't freak out about it. Do your best, okay? Nobody is perfect. It's just definitely something to be aware of. Let's see. A lot of you guys, uh, you can be successful in business only, like politicians, psychologists, investigators, when you have to remove your feelings and conduct yourself in a professional, uh, non-judgmental, non-emotional way. Okay, so Mars squaring Jupiter is kind of like taking action on business, taking care of business, moving, taking care of business, but it's also being irritated with the tiny imperfections and squaring Jupiter means that you're getting control uh, over how you're viewing something. So to before, before it used to be like, Oh my God, it's not perfect. And Mars and Virgo is like, oh my God, it's not perfect. All right, you know what? Oh well, <laughs> I did the best that I could. Jupiter is expansion, okay? It has a habit of making things appear bigger than it really truly is. And the fact that it's being squared is you're keeping it from getting out of control. And this is very active. You're actively keeping things from getting out of control. You're trying to keep yourself from going to extremes. Okay, so the traditional generic answer for Mars squaring Jupiter transit would be over enthusiasm, hastiness, impulsiveness, um, extremist, restless and extravagant, which is funny because it can go one way or the other, either you're going to put a cap on that shit or you're going to let it run rampant, basically. Okay, Mars, action, energy, uh, square, working against, Jupiter, expanding. Okay, so you're basically keeping yourself in check and you're creating, it's a particular goal, okay, to pretty much go with the flow, okay, and not let yourself go there or let yourself get carried away no matter which way you're going okay so you want you don't want to be too happy but at the same time you don't want to look like you're not happy <laughs> so this is like the happy medium a happy medium who doesn't like a happy medium <laughs> anyways <laughs> so that's pretty much all i have for you for tuesday and wednesday it sounds pretty easy breezy um it's a measure of control and then making the effort to be happy you know which is the full moon in Pisces, you know, love and compassion. I love you. You love me. Fuck. I fucking love everybody. <laughs> right? All right, guys. I'll see you in a couple days uh, for the horoscopes anyways. Okay? Till next time.